President Mnangagwa is in Russia for the second Russia-Africa Economic and Humanitarian Forum that seeks increased cooperation among states. Up to 40 African heads of state are expected to be part of the forum that will also push to tackle issues affecting the world. The forum is being held under the theme for peace, security and development. Zetian Prime's Fungi Kwaramba, who is in Russia, gives us an update. President Mnangagwa has arrived in St. Petersburg for the second Russia-Africa Economic and Humanitarian Summit. During the summit that will be officially opened by the Russian President Vladimir Putin tomorrow, the President will have several engagements with investors and also he will have a bilateral meeting with his Russian host. The President is also expected to meet Zimbabwean students starting across Russia and have a roundtable with investors who are keen to invest in Zimbabwe. He is accompanied by Foreign Affairs and International Trade Minister Ambassador Frederick Shava and senior government officials. Acting President Dr. Constantino Chiwenga has revealed that Wange Units 7 and 8 will be commissioned once the president returns from Russia. He was speaking at a ZANU PF rally in Wange East constituency where he was drumming up support for the ruling ZANU PF party ahead of the August 23 harmonized elections. <laughs> Renewable energy. Zimbara Vacha uyaku so kumikiza unit 78 Zimbabwe aicha tenga magetsi zakari. The European Union Election Observer Mission has deployed 46 officers to all 10 provinces to monitor Zimbabwe's election process before, during and after the August 23 polls. The 46 are long-term observers who will be joined by an additional 44 on the day of elections. The mission will also recruit local observers and receive a delegation from the European Parliament. We pair them up in teams of two so that all of their observations, which should be first-hand with their own eyes and with their own ears, are able to be checked between them. So it is never the impression of one person about what is going on. They have to come to a consensus. And then all of that information from those 46 individuals from all around the country is reported to us and to our analysts here in Harare. We're 11 core team analysts covering all aspects of the process from the legal framework to the election administration to the campaign and campaign finance as well as media and social media earlier this week during a government briefing to foreign observer missions Zimbabwe's foreign affairs minister Frederick Shawa urged observers to abide by laws of the land during their turner my ministry stands ready to receive observer missions from all over the world who wish to contribute to our democratic process, we urge all observers to familiarize themselves with the code of conduct for uh, election observers and all requirements for accreditation with uh, ZEC uh, before embarking uh, on uh, their missions. Retired two-time Paralympic champion Elliot Mujaji has called for more support for Paralympic athletes ahead of next year's Paralympic Games in Paris. Mujaji brought prominence to Paralympic athletes in Zimbabwe after his gold medal wins in Sydney 2000 and Athens 2004. Since then, no other athlete has claimed medals for the country at the Games. Despite commendable support from some sectors, Mujaji feels more could be done for athletes whom he feels do not enjoy the same prominence as able Bob did athletes. Paralympic athletes, I think uh, people are not regarding them, are not regarding them as, uh, you know, like 
how they treat the able-bodied athletes. It's a very difficult situation. And yeah, of course, in our country, it's very difficult. You know, they only like, you know, fame at the end. And, uh, you know, to start uh, from um, where it has to be started with, you know, carrying them up to uh, where they perform very well, uh, people, they don't understand that. But they want to be associated with, uh, you know, greatness all the time.